Hello peeps and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Wonder Off. We have our first star, which is nice. Um, and also, I think, yes, we've just upgraded one of the machines required, um, which is wonderful, which means we can come back to this super bug that we are working on. Um, yeah, I just don't think we're going to be doing that um, at all. Uh, we don't have just infection, timed money maker and timed research. I don't think any of these are going to happen. I think between this episode and the next episode, I shall have to uh, smash through these ones. Um, look, oh, all of a sudden it's had a moment. Yeah, I'll be able to, oh, I won't be able to finish this one. Look, it requires four. Who will we need to join us to finish this? Um, so, <gasps> well, I know they'll be watching this episode. Um, yes. If you if you could please Incubus jump on and and get the fourth one there that would be great <laughs> so that we can uh, so that we can clear this um, but yeah um, uh, that would make this one done which means I could uh, open up this one for roller which would be which would be really really super smashing great uh, oh a new illness has been uh, discovered uh, what's it called mulch that <laughs> the stomach is lined with a layer of leaves and wood chips symptoms include unusual rustling and forest floor smell <laughs> caused by ingesting topsoil what and general foliage sufferers should be told to wash their vegetables uh, vegetables and fungi before eating them not after um, so pharmacy so we'll be able to uh, deal with that I don't know how difficult this illness is to treat um, uh, but uh, uh, gross um, so okay we've discovered that animal magnetism emergency um, animal magnetism we actually don't have that room do we we don't have that room, but we do get the odd animal magnetism patients in. So it is definitely a room that we need to build. Uh, it'll help with this curate as well. So given that we've got lots of monies and it's a nurse, it's a nurse one. So I think what we'll do is we'll build that room. Um, animal magnetism, animal magnetism, animal magnetism. Oh, hang on a minute. Did we do? No, I, oh, no, hang on. We do have pest control. I was thinking, hang on a minute. I'm pretty sure I made pest control. And I did. It's here. Do you know what? We might, oh, mind you, we could be waiting for that for a while. What has the, uh, thing been like here? Look, we haven't killed anybody, although it's 50-50 on cures to ineffective. Hmm. Hmm what we could do maybe is improve the training on our treatment nurses maybe we could spend some money doing that uh, let's let's get them into some training there we go actually do you know what? we'll do one there and we'll get the injection nurse in that's what we'll do and then we'll we'll do the other yeah so that might be that might be a nice a nice compromise uh, to work through that plus we need to train uh, more stuff anyway um, so it looks like to be honest we're not going to be able to avoid improving room prestige um, and I would like to cure 20 well I mean we'll give it a go I'd like to um, uh, not do it in a total garbage way and these GPs these rooms have the big uh, give the biggest uh, impact don't they but oh Ooh. What, what is this look at that oh my goodness oh we'll do that oh my goodness oh he's playing with the parrot um remember that uh we have a straw pole going for uh for the parrot although don't know if this episode will be going out for uh, a, a few days from now so maybe by then we'll have it done and we'll know what the parrot's name is who knows but uh, the patrons can vote on the uh, on the name of the parrot um from a mixture of names we got in the chat um look all this there's so much craziness going on so much craziness so this is uh level three at the moment this room would you like to go for treatment yeah this is level three at the moment a low level three room um, let's see. Well, do you know what we could do? Uh, we could, uh, look at rugs. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I'd like items for this room, please. Yeah. 
rugs. Ooh, we could go for this rug. Oops. Could go for this rug. The conventional rug, yeah. That was a uh, that was uh, a limited edition item given away at Twitch. Ah, uh, a long time ago now. Uh, okay, so we've got a rug in, uh, which which is great. Uh, that's given us a fairly nice boost. Now, what we could also do uh, is get a, a lamp in, maybe. Put that in there. No like pillaging, that. please. No pillaging, please. <laughs> um, what else could we do? Ooh. Uh, so something else. I'm going to get rid of that because what something else that I like to do in these rooms. I'm decorating them. There's a pop one of these in like this. That's always nice. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Oh, we're having. Oh, a disaster. Do that. And a certificate. I haven't been doing the certificates really. Um, but I do quite like to have the certificates. There we go. Excellent. Eco rating was good. Which is nice. Uh, okay, we're getting close to level 4, aren't we? So what I'm thinking is some pictures. Might be nice. Uh, uh, up here um, and maybe we could um, oh my god there's that on this I could pop that up there couldn't we um, then maybe we could pop these up there ah oh, no it won't fit it won't fit peeps it won't fit we, we might have to put it slightly off right so that we can yeah do that Get in there. Okay. It really is off, isn't it? It's upsetting. It's upsetting. I actually can't cope with it. <laughs> okay, fine. What we'll do, we'll put in a jasmine. Put in, a ja put in jasmine. Um, maybe we'll put in... Uh, oh. I think Peeps made these. I, I can't remember who made this. Was this Tressel? I actually can't remember who made these. I don't think it was Tressel. I can't remember who made them. Um, oh, actually, do you know, I don't think I've ever had this one used it. And do you know, it's cracking. I love it. That is so good. It's so good. Whichever Peep made that. Oh, yeah. I have um on my Steam account, I actually have uh, a place where I keep all the... All the things I've downloaded from Peeps. Um, so if you want to see what collections that I have, there is a. I don't know what they're called. It's, it's like a mod list only. They're not mods, right? Uh, hairbrained. That's what that illness is. Hairbrained. The condition is characterised by a pattern of eccentric behaviour and ill-conceived decisions, as well as having a rabbit-like head, uh, caused by hair allergies, devilish lettuce, and all-night tea parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's psychiatry. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Shall we have a look? Actually, where are we with this room? Oh, we've made it to a level four, which is great because what it does is it it really does help with their their mood. Look, it's got an a uh, uh, it's got an amazing room um, because it's level four, which is a plus twenty percent happiness. Um, you know, and if we boost this to a level five, I think we have outstanding room, which I forget how much you get for that. It could be 25, it could be 30. I'm not sure. But do you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll get it done. Um, it's been so long since I've done it that um, I've forgotten because that's that's what I do. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Yes, we would like to see about getting. Um, right, okay, so there's no queue. Needs. He could do with a slight recharge. Almost put him in psychiatry. That would be no good. Do you know, he could also get some training. Level level 3 training. But do you know what? We won't worry about it. Actually, uh, Leroy here needs uh, some training. So we could get that done. There we go. Um, we could get Leroy training. 
Um, and we did see there as well that money's become a bit of an issue for some. There we go. Right, he's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring him back over here. And we are going to accept this emergency. Didn't cure 20 patients. I find that really alarming. I find that really alarming. <laughs> I do. Um, so let's see. Surely he can cope with this. Surely he can cope with this. Uh, 40% difficulty. Um, estimated chance to cure 83%. Uh, give them the skills, even though the upgrade isn't quite in there yet. You know, we, we've we've done what we can, haven't we? We've done what we can. Uh, do you know what? We will get you in um, to uh, do a bit of uh, the old cleaning. Because uh, I noticed, you know, we've still got... Nasty, get out of here. We've still got some... Uh, some peeps like that around, uh, some mess around like that. Hey, can you deal with this? He should be able to. He should he should be fine with this. Cured a patient. Which is always nice because when they cure a patient, of course, they get happiness. And when they kill a patient, of course they get upset that they killed the patient. So <laughs> Um alright, look. The diagnostics is definitely uh, becoming a thing. And we've we've got that doctor, but we've not actually trained him in anything yet because I can't quite make up my mind what I want to do. Um if I did put in um, if I did put in another mega scan, where on earth would it go? I guess it would have to go here. So it might be that we put the, uh, actually that can stay there. It might be that we need to uh, move this. Um, we'll move this away um, to here. Okay. And then we will copy this toilet. Uh, we'll copy that. And uh, we'll, we'll slam one over here somewhere. Uh, like that. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll move this to here. Okay. And then we can copy this. And try and fix it. Like that. Sure. And then we can uh, close this. Now, that doctor that we employed. Um, uh, that's what I want. Uh, we put him on treatment. Randy, do you know what though? What we might do, Randy? Yeah. Is train you. Is the training room it's not it's not free yet. It's not free yet. That's okay. When that uh training room is free, um Yeah, we might get him trained up for it. Oh, deluxe clinic. Okay, let's pause this a minute. So where's the doctor? Ah, here. The deluxe clinic. Yeah, we can do that. Let's get a deluxe clinic in. Treatment. Okay. There we go. Excellent. There we go. Can I pause it now? Right, let's get a few bits in. So that's good. Um, and that. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Determined to make me angry. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Okay, whatever. I just don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. Uh, let's get our drinks machine in and some food. Excellent. Hand sanitizer. Uh, I don't know, let me put that there either. Whatever. This is definitely too small, isn't it? 
Prince Knox Clinic. Uh, and no chair, it would seem. No chair. Uh, okay, good. And we've got doctors to deal with it, though. Special report. Five out of seven for animal magnetism. Hey, that's not too bad. We've wrecked the machine, though. Completely annihilated it. Um, right, so this training must be done. Yep. So let's have a look then. Randy, uh, let's get you in for some radiology training. We are going to have to pay Rosie Franklin to come in to do that. Um, because this guy is super busy. Super busy. Let's see if we can reduce this queue just a smidge to help uh, help them out while we're trying to get a second room open. Um, you know, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it, uh, people. We are. Believe it or not, we're stuck in the queue. We are currently working on it. Just these things take time. These things take time. Let's have a look. Who's our rising star? If we have one, we do have one. Ooh, Clara Bell Woodstone. Fantastic. Uh, pay rise for them. <laughs> uh, what is this? Earn two hundred thousand. I don't see that happening. But sure, right. I mean, we could give it a go. But I think you're having a bubble bath, to be honest. I think you're having a bubble bath. Right. Can you at least pretend you care? I don't think we should be jabbing needles into wood. You know, I just, I just don't think that's something we should be doing. <laughs> this, we're we're going to break this thing many times over. Look at this hair brain. Uh. Ace dread. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Their creativity knows no bounds. <sighs> I said, it feels like I'm I'm relaxing for a moment. I don't know why. Look at the state of this place. It's fine. This hospital's absolutely fine. I don't know what's going on with the um, GPs though. We do seem to be a little bit short in the old uh, vomits on impact. <laughs> uh, I think we do need. Uh, potentially another GP because uh, it's uh, seems to be quite a few GPs on break not covering these rooms not covering these rooms no how's it going in here Randy we're very excited for you to become a mega scan expert we are because we'd like to open this because he's on break right now, so this queue wouldn't come to a, a grinding halt if uh, Randy was overtaking. But uh, I think we will just open up a second one. This is also very busy. Um, it is also very busy. How's this department doing? This department's always quite quiet. Maybe we could consider turning diagnostics on over here, seeing if it helps at all. Um, we're getting to a point where we could possibly afford uh, to make this a diagnostic DNA lab and um, and open up a separate one for treatment. You know, um, for, for treatment, and we could uh, probably get a doctor in for that. Right? Okay. So that's that's them done. So we can open this up now, uh, which is fantastic. So trying to ease pressure off of this, we've opened up diagnostics over here on the ward. And yeah, do you know what? I think we'll try and get a second DNA. Um, so if we copy uh, this, because um, this is where all the doctor stuff is, right? This is where all the doctor stuff is. So if we, something like this, mind you, these these people do come across here, don't they? Maybe we should leave that open. This week I stayed at the yeah, we should probably leave that open. Let's close this. But we are going to make this treatment only. And we need to get... Um, yeah, a genetics. Oh, my goodness. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're going to employ them. And then we don't have to do any training on this. We can just get them uh, cracking on that. Uh, yeah. There we go. So actually, um, uh, now a question that comes up a lot, and I have spoken about it quite a bit on my uh, channel uh, every now and then, but people dip in and out of the series. So 
I like to repeat information, so I apologise if you've heard me say this before. But uh, I often get asked, what is the best way to train uh, the DNA uh, doctors? Given that uh, see he's got a bunch of treatment training, given that I've got one for treatment, one for diagnostics, and of course you can't control which doctor goes to which room. Uh, this is the way I would train them. Genetics and then all treatment. For the simple reason that doctors naturally have high diagnostic skills. We can see here that Dirk Nerd has a um, diagnosis skill of 130% and he has a treatment skill of 80%. It's much lower, even though he's got two treatment and no diagnostic training at all. Um, and what I've discovered is if you make all of these treatment, then these tend to be fairly even. I think diagnostics is still slightly higher, but they are largely uh, even. Um, yeah, so go genetics and all treatment. And it's uh, then they are good for diagnostics and treatment in, in DNA. Um, they can do either pretty well. Surgery. Surgery has started. Look at this. We're discovering new illnesses all over the goddamn shop. Uh, look at this. Road stool. The sufferer's bowels have become uh, upset from too much travel. They need medicine that makes their constitution um, feel at home as they can once again travel comfortably and lightly. Okay. Road stool. Okay. So we do need to get a surgery. A surgery in. Um, oh, an avocado hands. The sufferer's hands have become soft and mushy, much like the flesh of an avocado, causing them to break and fall apart at even the most mush-friendly tusks, uh, caused by early morning gentrification and uh, shortening it to avo. <laughs> I, I struggle to say it. I even struggle to say it. Mind you, I struggle to say a lot of words. Um, okay, let's see. So we are going to need surgery. Um, oh look, straight off the bat, we've got we've got a, a fairly decent surgeon here. A fairly decent surgeon. Okay. Um, so it could be worth. Um, yeah, we'll build one surgery. Um, yeah, one surgery. So we'll need a nurse, won't we? There's no decent nurse. Um, we'll just have to go as cheap as chips for now, and maybe they could end up moving to the ward, actually. The nurse's qualifications doesn't actually contribute to the surgery success. Um, so you don't need a nurse with treatment training in surgery. It doesn't. It doesn't contribute to the surgery at all. Um, weird, eh? So <laughs> uh, I tend to surgery nurses. I tend to train in more um, self-improvement things like quicker movement, longer stamina, um, that that sort of stuff. Uh, because there's just no point in training her in treatment uh okay so let's see here they're getting quite low on the uh, on the old surgeries aren't they um so we should probably um look at building treatment what have we got here surgery surgery have i missed it did i go past it of course i did surgery there it is okay um i guess over here somewhere oh look we've got a little bridge we'll do this okay Lovely. Um, do you know what? We'll just stick one in for now. There's the sink. So they can wash their hands. And let's see about some medicine cabinets. Um, okay. A uh, heart monitoring machine. Uh, I also like to get this bad boy in. This, uh, this is a good addition. Um, look, increase his treatment by 2%. Um, so you can fill this entire room up with them, I suppose. Uh, mind you, we've also got this thing, Deep Thing 2, uh, which came from... Where did this come from? Was this a super bug item? Uh, look, that's plus 3 treatment power. Very hot, though. Runs very, very hot. You need to be able to cool it quite well. Um, that's the only thing with that. Uh, so let's get in uh, some hand sanitizer. Um, and... 
maybe we should also satisfy some of these needs. We do need to get in though, don't we? Um, one of these. Uh, no, I'll we'll just stick it randomly in the room like that. Um, there's nothing here that can catch fire, so we don't need to put... Um, actually, we'll stick it over here. We don't need to put fire extinguisher in here. No, there we go. That, that'll do. They'll go in and uh, attend to that. Oh no, we didn't get to read that illness. This is an outrage. Let's see. It said new illness discovered and we didn't get to read it. Crystal balls. <laughs> uh, mysterious glass-like spheres have materialised in the body. This could mean one of a number of things. Success in business or romance. Uh, grave danger or low, low prices. <laughs> they need removing by a surgeon before they break and cause uh, terrible luck as well as untold physical damage. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. And we should probably... Uh, again, we've not really got any food or anything over here. Um, and it's probably something I should really deal with, but... Uh, um, there we go. We were... It's sort of... I feel a bit interrupted, you know, because we were actually doing something. We were in the middle of something. Genius. Does the hospital not know? Uh, what is this? Oh, we did earn that. I am gobsmacked, frankly. So we should probably be training some stuff. Uh, and we're currently not. So um, we could do with... Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, we do need to replace... Oh, we're not ready to replace them. Look at that. Not ready to replace them. Okay. Uh, in that case, do you know what? Should we do a couple of janitors? Uh, let's... No. Oh, she's not ready for training. I thought she... No, she is. I was thinking, I'm sure she is. Right, ghost capture. Anyone can do it. There we go. Um, ooh, you could join. Yeah, you get in there, Quentin. Thwok hammer. <laughs> <gasps> Good. Uh, we are slowly uh, getting these machines uh, smashed out, which is absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with that. It's starting to calm down. It's starting to calm down a little bit, um, which is quite nice. Uh, have it opening up, I think, diagnostics in these couple of new locations has helped. Uh, although there's still no queue over here. So that's good. We're not overwhelming the ward, which is um, absolutely great. Um, it's interesting as well that Tony has been sent over to here. Um, so maybe this is uh, a better location uh, to uh, diagnose hair-brained than some of the others that we've been doing. Uh, look, that got 50%. Foot in mouth, 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DNA. DNA. Opening DNA was, was a good call, though. Was a good call. Uh, we're getting a bit of a queue uh, out here. Uh, we are getting a bit of a queue. What we'll do, we'll move this and we will put this somewhere completely different, like maybe over here. Okay. And then what we could do is get some bennies. Oh, look, those bennies haven't got any anything to make them nice. There you go. There you go. Where's the plants? There they are. Okay, let's get you some plants in here. And some plants. Look, look at this. I haven't done any of these. I, always, I must have got distracted doing something or other. Um, there's always a lot going on in this game, isn't there? Always a lot going on. There we go. There's that. And that. Okay, and that. Right, that's that bit of training done. Oh, and, and uh, a good eco uh, rating as well. Um, right, so they're still getting their ghost training, however. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, it's it's coming Some along. Patients of their condition. Some patients <laughs> should be ashamed of their condition. Um, so we do really need to get back to this staff morale thing. Um, we could do with getting this room up to a level five because then we can just repeat this room all the way around which i think could be really uh, uh really good it could help out quite well uh for this staff morale uh, for sure it could
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.